Hi, welcome to this week's tutorial. It is a beat the heat sweat proof makeup application. It's August here in Texas. Those two words are synonymous with one thing, temperatures over 100 degrees. In fact, yesterday it was 102. Everybody felt like they were going to melt. Usually by the end of the day, your makeup does. So what I'd like to walk you through are a few very simple and easy steps to keep your face intact and to prevent all that lovely work from falling south. So I'm gonna walk you through these steps. Like I said, super simple. The first thing that we have to address is our bare skin. I believe at this stage of the game, stay away from moisturizers that have oil. So look for an oil-free moisturizer that will provide a nice light coat of moisture without making the face slick. So for me, that's the Honey Skin Ultimate Face and Body Cream that I've mentioned before. It's anti-inflammatory, it has aloe in it, it's cooling, it's soothing, it provides moisture. So this is my base, so to speak, to do the application. Primers to me are key when it comes to having your makeup stay in place. So the two primers that I'm gonna focus on right now, face and eye. And the primer that I have used for the most part is Smashbox, uh, the original Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. So this is for the face and we will start with a basic application of the primer. It's a clear silicone type gel and I just tap it in the areas where I really want to reduce oil, which is the T-zone for me. But this immediately helps to cut the shine and provide a smooth surface to apply that foundation. Next up is eyeshadow primer, and this is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original. This is critical to keeping your eyeshadow in place. Really helps with uh, eyeliner, upper liner, and what I also do with the leftover primer that I have in this brush, I will sweep it right here underneath the lower lash line. Okay, so at this stage, we are primed and ready to go. I will push in. Next up will be foundation. So my foundation of choice this summer has been Giorgio Armani Long Wear High Power High Whoops, long wear high coverage foundation. Ooh, miracle I can see that. It has sunscreen in it, SPF 25, but it is a matte formula foundation, easy to apply, a little bit goes a long way. Critical that you use a matte foundation in order to prevent your makeup from melting. Another trick is make sure all your brushes are clean. Any residual oil will contribute to adding more oil to the face and we're trying to keep it as matte as possible. So clean your brushes before this application. So I'll apply directly a pump and start working it in. And if there are areas where I want a little extra concentration, I will then use just a tiny, tiny bit with my finger. The areas where things tend to smudge and fall. Okay, foundation is done. So from here on out, you're going to do your normal makeup application. So do your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, everything else. I will kind of buzz through that and then as we get to setting everything, we'll slow it down and we'll talk about that too. So now it's time to set, and I'm always using Laura Mercier Translucent uh, Loose Setting Powder. This to me is very, very important because it will also enhance that matte finish that I'm going for. And since I have chosen a matte type of a foundation, I wanna keep it nice and matte. I don't wanna change the color of my foundation, which is why I'm going for a translucent. But again, nice setting powder is really, really important. Okay, makeup application is complete, but we are not done yet. There is one more critically important step to finish this look before we go on with the day, and that is this product. This is Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray Oil Control. Really, really easy to use. You're essentially spraying your face. You're setting your makeup after it's done. And so what I do and what 
you are instructed to do with this product is obviously get your hair off your face. I'll kind of cover my top part here. You can put a uh, headband on, whatever you like. But you basically, you make a cross and an X. You, and then hold it about eight inches away. One, two, three, four. And you let it sit and dry. And that's it. Now, if you think we're done at this point, you got another thing coming because how would you know how my makeup wore if I didn't take you with me throughout the day? So I'm gonna get dressed for work now. You're gonna come with me. As you know, I anchor the six and the 10 o'clock newscast here in Houston. Maybe you don't know, now you do, but this is my makeup for work. So I'm going to bring two things with me from here on out to be able to touch up oil control. And these are the two things that you will need in your makeup bag from here on out. Number one, blotting tissues are a must because the mistake that we make is when we start to get oily is to pack on the powder and all that does is it just packs on the grease and it starts to change the color of your makeup so we're going to blot as needed and the other thing that i'm going to have with me is my favorite little touch up powder. This is NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana, which is a brightening color. It's a slight yellow color. They also have a green, which color corrects for redness. But this is going to be my touch up powder. So for throughout the day, these are the two products that I'm gonna need. So come on, let's go to work. Log in with the boys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a makeup tutorial. Why are we in it? <laughs> Because I'm driving you before I head to work. Is it already recording? Yeah, pretty it much. Is. Oh, yes. wow. Uh, we're is not triplets, we're... by the way. No. Although people think they're triplets because they look so much alike. Oh, everybody put your heads together so they can see. Twins back there and Styles. They got the same hair. Okay, so at work now, it's five o'clock working on the six o'clock newscast, but I have a little promo that I do in the five o'clock. And from what I can tell, I don't need any real touching up with the makeup. I may just add a little bit of lipstick that's faded just from drinking some drinks to stay hydrated during this heat, but so far so good. So I'll check back in with you before the six o'clock newscast. Okay, so it's 10 minutes now before news time at 5.51. And if I weren't going on air, I probably wouldn't do a thing. Right now, my makeup is fine. It's, there's like a tiny bit of shine, but not much. Not enough to really warrant a big powder, but since shine shows up very strongly on television, I'm going to do a little bit of blotting with these tissues. And this is cute, comes with a little mirror as well. So just take the tissue and just pat and remove any excess oil that might be on your skin. And then what I'm gonna do is hit it with my powder, my NYX with a brush, and just touch those areas. And that's it. Everything else is there. Uh, mic, check, please. mic check, one, two, three, four, five. Mic, one, two, three, four, five. Can I adjust the mic check, please? Check, check. <laughs> Say hi, Keith. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I'm doing I'm a, like to who? <laughs> to who? I'm doing a makeup vlog on, oh, cool. on uh, okay. ma makeup that doesn't run down your face. Ah, ah okay. In my, this heat. Most of my makeup doesn't run, so. <laughs> How hot did it get today? 101 again. Hi. It's five in a row. Five in a row. So this is some serious real deal heat. Even down in Galveston, we say, okay, well, I'll go down to the beach. Uh, guess what? Still feels like it's about 109 down there or 92 degrees. Okay, it's dinner time. See you back here in a bit. Time to eat with mama. She's on the phone. <laughs> hey, mama. Hey, honey. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. I love you. You have the love of my life. The biggest love of my life. <laughs> Isn't she the best? That's my agent, in Absolutely. case you didn't know. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> you hot? I'm so hot. How's your makeup doing? I'm sweating. My makeup is just falling off. My God, my glasses just fell off my face. Wow. 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 I am so hot. I think I'll have some tea. I don't know why I don't like olives. I've never liked olives. I love them. You love them. I love them. I put them in all my salads. Do you? 
And I pick them out. I pick them out. Really? Yeah. The sun is finally starting to set at 8 o'clock, and it is 91 degrees. <laughs> Heading back to work. Okay, time for the big reveal on how the makeup has worn throughout the day. I'm gonna come in really close because the key is seeing if there's any separation, any smudging, especially around the eye area. I apologize, my camera battery died, so I'm on my cell phone. Image quality, not so great, but I think you'll get the picture. So as you could see before, the uh, eye makeup stayed put. I can tell, and you'll probably be able to see a little bit of a sheen, especially in the cheek area here around the mouth. So what I'm going to do is blot, 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 blot a lot with my sheet and remove that because again, I don't want to add powder on top of that oil. Instead of using a brush for application, I'm going to use a puff. This NYX powder does not come with a puff or a brush. So I'm using CoverGirl Makeup Masters and it's just a very plain puff pad. But what I like about these is unlike a brush, a brush tends to take a lighter application. This you can get a little bit more powder. And by the end of the night, that's what I'm gonna need is just a little more powder for a matte finish. I always hit just a little, little bit of blush after I add my powder. And especially since I'm going back on air, just wanna pop the cheeks a little bit more, warm them up and reapply the lipstick. Here we go in for the extreme close up and happy to share that the face is still there and has not pooled down below. Everything worked step by step. It was maybe a few extra layers to the process, but so well worth it to get you through the summer months. Hopefully you're not having as strong of a heat wave as we are. You know, Texas, August, this is kind of par for the course. So with your new application, hopefully a nice dry matte face. Go out, be bold and be blessed. I look forward to seeing you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye-bye.